Starting tomorrow, there is going to be an invasion of cold Arctic air into the Midwest and Northeast. And then in about a week, there's going to be another invasion of cold Arctic air that is actually going to be even colder than the one coming in the next couple of days. As you can see, that one is going to fill in the entire northern plains, Midwest, Northeast, all the way down to the Southeast, where we're going to be seeing temperatures 15, 20, 25 degrees below average. Now before we get started, I will say I make these forecast videos every single morning. So if you're somebody who enjoys following the weather or you end up enjoying this video, you can subscribe to my channel. All right, diving into my screen here, this is the snapshot of what the temperature anomaly is gonna look like for the country in about mid-April. So this cold invasion is gonna be lasting us throughout really next week and even further into the future than that. So let's look at what it looks like right now. And as it turns out, it's actually very above average right now. You can see throughout the Midwest, working its way into the Mid-Atlantic, much of the Northern Plains, the temperatures are actually extremely high above average. You see 25, 27 degrees above average. That is a significant temperature anomaly in the warm direction. Well, as it turns out, that's not gonna last for long. As you'll notice, this cold, cold Arctic air start to fill in over the next couple of days. And there's actually going to be a major snowstorm in New England associated with this cold air that's gonna be filling in really starting tomorrow and tomorrow evening, working into Friday and Saturday. This cold air is gonna work into the Northeast and it's associated with the low pressure that's gonna be pulling this air down. And it's gonna to lead to over a foot of snow in parts of Maine and then some lake effect snow just in the lower Great Lakes in New York area. And I'm actually going to do a forecast video on that one and just like that entire snowstorm in just a minute or two. So you can check my channel if you wanna see that. So that shows this temperature anomaly with the cold air that's gonna be blasting into the country over the next day or two. You can see Northeast, you're gonna be about 10 to 15 degrees below average associated with this blast of cold Arctic air and you can see it works all the way down into the southeast. This is now looking at Friday the 10th. And you can see that cold air has filled in to basically the entire eastern half of the country. If we look at the surface temperature maps, you can really see this low pressure. That's the low that's going to be bringing some snow to Maine, parts of New York, and the rest of New England. And you can see how the circulation around this low it's counterclockwise, that's gonna be bringing down this cold air. And so this is going to be a significant Arctic invasion of cold air, and this is the more moderate of the cold air invasions. The one coming in about a week or two is even more intense than this one. One thing I really like to look at for the figuring out where the division of warm and cold air is the jet stream. Because by, by definition, that's basically what the jet stream is. You have warm air here, cold air here, it makes a huge temperature gradient, and then that huge temperature gradient causes the extreme winds that we see in the jet stream. So I always like to look at the jet stream when trying to figure out where cold air will be getting pulled down, and you can see it pretty well on this map. At around, like right now, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Wednesday, you can see that the jet stream over much of the Midwest and Northeast is relatively flat. And that kind of means there's not a whole lot of cold air being pulled down and there's not a whole lot of warm air being pushed up. But as we move through Thursday and Friday, you're gonna see something very interesting happen. This dip in the jet stream really pulls down associated with that low pressure that I just showed you on the last map. And what that's going to do is bring down this cold air into the Northeast. So if you're thinking about the jet stream as the division of warm and cold air, you can see that the Northeast is going to be really seeing that cold air throughout Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as that moves through. And then it goes back to that West-East orientation where, you know, not a lot of cold air being pulled down, not a lot of warm air being pushed up. You can also see it really well by looking at the 500 millibar level. The purple color here really represents that cold Arctic air. And I'm focusing on this first cold front because this is the one that's gonna be affecting us starting tomorrow and then working into Friday and Saturday. 
And this is where forecast models are a lot more accurate, so I'm spending the majority of time on this first cold air invasion. So looking at the 500 millibar level, that's about, you know, technically halfway up the atmosphere when you're talking about pressure as your vertical coordinate. This cold air, you can see associated with this low that has the winds pulling down that cold Arctic air from Canada, that cold Arctic air that you can tell by the purple coloring is going to be moving into the Northeast. Again, this is showing Thursday evening. This also happens to be when we're gonna start seeing some heavy snowfall for Maine. And then working into Friday, you see that cold air just continues to move further and further south. And then that, you can see, if I zoom in here, you'll actually be able to see these winds going right over the lakes. And that's where we're gonna to start to see actually some lake effect snow as well. Moving back out here. So let's move through and you'll see around Saturday working into Sunday, we get more into a typical pattern, just the northern, northern locations are colder, southern locations are warmer. And then we're gonna see that second cold, cold invasion really start to move in. And I think you can see it best on the temperature anomaly map. So right here, that is showing the same thing as right here. This is about Saturday, that cold air has already pushed through, brought some snow to New England. And then we're actually going to see a second blast of cold air start to fill in starting Saturday evening, Sunday. It first works its way into Montana. Now this cold air, look at that, that's about 23, 25 degrees below average. Montana this time of year is still pretty cold. My buddy just sent me a video of Butte, Montana. It's one of the coldest places in the lower 48 and the ground is still covered in snow. So the temperatures are already cold up there and now they're gonna drop 25 degrees below average. Now watch as I click through here. This is again, starting Saturday evening, Sunday morning. This cold air is gonna start to fill into Montana, then the Dakotas, and you'll see it just moves further and further in throughout the country, really starting Sunday and then working in through next week. Wow, look at that. At this point, places in Montana are 30 degrees below average, 35 degrees below average in Wyoming. This is one of the biggest Arctic invasions of cold air that I've seen really since I started forecasting. <laughs> you don't often see 35 degrees below average. And you'll notice you get this real ridge pattern, this ridge over the Northeast and Southeast where you're about 15 degrees above average. And that's typical when you have this huge trough building in. If you have a huge trough building in, it just makes sense that on the other side of it, there's gonna be a ridge. Well, weather moves from West to East. So this giant invasion of cold Arctic air is going to fill in the rest of the country. And you can actually see that as I move through this map here, this is now looking at this next Tuesday, the 14th. This is about a week from now. But so the forecast models, they, I usually don't trust forecast models this far out, but for exact numbers and precipitation type and rate, for overall phenomena like a cold air invasion, the forecast models are pretty good. It might not be the exact severity, could be worse, could be less, but that fact that this is happening is most likely going to take place. And you can see by next Wednesday, about a week from now, that cold air has now filled out throughout the entire eastern half of the country. Places in Montana still 20 to 25 degrees below average, but you can see now that ridge has moved off into the Atlantic and now that cold Arctic air has worked its way into basically the entire eastern half of the country. You can see places in the Northeast, 10 below, 10 degrees below average. Places in the Southeast, 10 degrees below average. And then Northern Plains, Midwest, you guys are going to be freezing, literally freezing. That's about 30, 35 degrees below average. Very cold. Let's just take a quick look and see what the Northeast is looking like at this time. This is, so it really moves in next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can see Wednesday, that ridge is still kind of over the Northeast, but as we move through here, you actually see that cold air just start to invade, especially the Midwest, where temperatures are literally going to be below freezing. Looking at the jet stream again, 
Again, I love this because it shows the separation of the warm and cold air. This is showing Sunday, hasn't really moved in yet, and then you start to see that dip in the jet stream really fill into Montana and the Northern Plains, and then that just continues to evolve, deepen, and move south. And you can tell how strong this system is because of how strong these winds in the jet stream are. Now moving into really Thursday and next Friday, this is 16th and 17th, you can see that dip in the jet stream has actually moved into the eastern half of the country. One last thing we'll look at is the 500 millibars. This is probably my favorite map because it this purple coloring literally just shows you where that cold Arctic air is gonna be moving in. Now Sunday into Monday, you can see it's really filled in to Montana and the Northern Plains. And then as we move into Tuesday and Wednesday, fills into the Midwest and Northeast. And by next Thursday and Friday, the Northeast is going to be literally below freezing. It's gonna be very interesting to keep our eye on the system as it continues to develop. Again, there's two cold air invasions. One coming up this Friday and Saturday, and that's actually gonna bring some snow to New England. And then an even bigger one coming, really starting Sunday for Montana, and then lasting throughout Friday, where that cold air is going to fill in to the entire eastern half of the country. So if you wanna stay updated with this cold air invasion, as well as literally every major weather event that happens to the United States, I do multiple forecast videos every single morning. So two questions, did you enjoy this video? And did you learn something new? If you answered yes to either of those, then you can learn more in the future by subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.